All of a sudden, Teen Sheldon has a food thing that's never been mentioned or even hinted at. It's like the writer just threw all the autism stereotypes in a pile with no rhyme or reason. Is there some reason this detergent is not also acceptable to use on the rest of the family's clothes? Are they the sensitive ones? Why does my to-do list say remove stick from butt? I don't know. Spoiler alert, by the end of the season, Elsa has still not completed this section of the to-do list. Hey, I'm going to the mall later. Does anybody need anything? No, Mom, but thanks for everything you do. Teen Sheldon will later confirm that he did in fact hear this mall plan, which should not come as a surprise because everybody knows those headphones are for noise cancelling, not music. No offense. That's what people say when they're about to be offensive. But you're really weird. Called it. And you wear the same clothes every day. What's wrong with that? Also, that's not even true. In the first two episodes, we saw him in a red shirt, blue shirt, green shirt, red hoodie, green hoodie, blue shirt with stripes, two shades of gray, three different pants, another jacket on top of his hoodie, and his Sectropolis uniform. Girls seem to like it when boys wear more than one type of shirt. Why is that? I guess so they could get a sense of your style. His style is muted jeans, a polo shirt, and a hoodie. Sense gotten. How do you currently pick out your clothes? I don't. My mom does. She's not even in the scene, and I'm still finding reasons to hate her more. Mom, I want to go shopping with you. No, Teen Sheldon! Don't let her be involved in any way! That's good for Julia to say, but she wasn't with us the last time. Is every episode going to be a pissing match between mom and therapist? Why is no one telling Teen Sheldon to make his own decisions? I slapped the nice man at Panda Express. Meltdowns cause violence stereotype. Oh, I love the Kung Pao Chicken. I'm just a worried mom reminiscing about the mouth-watering Kung Pao Chicken Bowl for only $4.99. If I see anything that's cute, I'll take a picture of it on my phone. According to whose standards of cuteness? Yours, of course. Hey, you want to help me put away the rest of the groceries? No. <laughs> okay, typical. You earned that one. Awareness. My mom plans this, like, autism walk every year. Every year? Assuming this story takes place in 2017, that's 13 walks. When I had appendicitis, she told me to walk it off. Child abuse. Wow, with an 18-year-old lead, I thought I wouldn't get to say that. Are they trying to make us hate the mom? No parking tickets? Mm -mm. Traffic violations? Mm -mm. Parole? You know that thing where fathers act like their daughters are property? Yeah, that. You're acting like mom. You know, I, I love your mom, but that's a low blow. Doug is fully aware of how terrible his wife is, yet only left for eight months. Beep, beep, beep. Does that sound annoying? Can someone please punch Elsa so hard that she falls out of the script? Short and sweet. Oh, it's gonna be sweet, all right. Zahid to the rescue! Although, as a distraction so Teen Sheldon can chop in peace, he fails. Zahid's here. This is my disappointed that my son has friends face. He's the most stylish person I know. I think I'm also quite stylish. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Miss Cohesive bandage scarf. Julia says I need to pick my own clothes, not you. Well, screw Julia. Bam! Sam, let's get you into a dressing room. He just told you not to do that 42 seconds ago. Let's get rid of this Mr. Rogers shit your mom picked out. Go Zaheed! You're on your way to becoming the show's first likable character. Private dressing room, no music, dim lighting. Yes, and I said I'd see what I could do. Uh -huh. Turns out I couldn't do anything. As much as I want this lady to tell Elsa to go fuck herself, she's blatantly violating accommodation law. So, hey, you're both wrong. You're trying to get girls. The last thing you want to be is yourself. Oh, never mind. Zahid, I hate you too. I've been, um, banished from the store, basically for being a good mom. Elsa's definition of good mom includes assaulting retail workers. Julia knew about this? It was her idea. Huh, terrific. If you hate Julia so much, why not stop paying for her? At some point, I really, really hope I get to see boobs. We have something called the internet for that. Julia has too much influence over Sam. Really? You think the boobs thing came from her? You should have seen him at the mall today. Everything was Julia says this, Julia says that. Yeah, probably because you taught him that your son says this isn't good enough. Just be nice. I'm always nice. Black Pfeifengesicht. That's German for a face in need of a fist. Casey has some sort of boyfriend. Oh yeah, I know that. I read all her texts. Oh my god, you are the worst mom ever! I love that. And apparently you're the worst dad ever! Considering Julia's age, she just got her PhD this year. How is she already a clinical professor? And how does she already have her own parking spot? Although this behavior is not out of character for someone who gives the middle finger to closed doors, I still have to say, a grown woman taking clearly absurd life advice from a teenage misogynist. Go to Kennedy Park. That's where they hang out. Preventing teenagers from fucking? Much more important than our job of saving lives. We will kill them. Threatening homicide on your co-worker's family. Really, Casey? What? This is what you're doing? You're skipping school? Really, Doug? You're playing hooky to lecture someone about ditching class? It was hard having a son who didn't smile and... Look you in the eye. I'm gonna need to turn into a colossal squid to convey the eye roll in my heart. Mom threw herself in all of them. Support groups and the special diets and she was great. Contradicting yourself. It wasn't your fault and it wasn't Mom and Sam, it was me. Then why are they the only names that appear in your story? Adultery. Hey, that's an actual sin. The moral of the story is, parents are terrible. Wait, that's not a sin, that's true.
Backpfeifengesicht? No, God, please, no, no! 